One of the things that Word keeps track of regarding your document is the number of characters it contains. In this quick tip, I show you how easy it is to insert this number anywhere in your document that you'd like. Word keeps track of summary information for a document. It does this without you needing to do anything special. You can see some of the summary information in the status bar at the bottom of the document window here. For instance, you can see that this document contains 240 words and there's only a single page within the document. If you want to, you can display different summary information by right-clicking on the status bar. When I do that, you see that it has a, a palette of information that could be on this status bar down here. One of the pieces of information maintained by Word is the number of characters in the document. You can see that right here where it says character count with spaces. If I choose that, then it appears on the status bar immediately. And now I can go back to work within my document by clicking within the document itself. This character count information is constantly being updated as you work with your document. If you want to insert the number of document characters within your text, start by placing the insertion point where you want the number to appear. For instance, if I want it to appear at the end of this line, all I have to do is press the end key. I now have the insertion point at the end of that line, and I'm ready to insert that character count. I'm going to go over here to the Insert tab of the ribbon, and at the right-hand side of the ribbon, I'm going to choose to add a field in here. I just click on Field, and Word displays the Field dialog box. In the Categories drop-down list here, I want to choose Document Information. And when I do, that limits the number of fields that are shown here at the left side of the screen. The one that allows me to put in the number of characters within my document is this one right down here, num cares, which means number of characters. When I select that and then I click on OK, you can see that my document shows that there's 1,074 characters within the document. You'll also notice that this particular character count differs from the character count that's shown down in the status bar. There, it shows that there's 1,313 characters. I don't know if you remember or not, but when we displayed what can go on the status bar, it said that this is the character count with spaces. This number that you see right here is without spaces, and so they are different. There's one other thing to notice right here. Let's say that I go down to this line and I start typing something. This some text in my document. Now notice down at the bottom on the status bar that the number of characters has been updated to reflect what I just typed. However, the field, the num cares field that we inserted just a moment ago, was not updated. It still shows 1,074 characters. This is a dynamic field, but the only time that the field will be updated is when you save the document or when you choose to print the document, then it's automatically updated to reflect the latest information. If you need to update it at some time other than that, all you have to do is click within the field. You can see that the entire field is selected just by clicking within it. And then all I need to do is press the F9 key, and that updates the information within that field. There you have it, an easy way to insert within your document the number of characters that are contained within that document. I hope that you found this quick tip helpful. If you did, please click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon. That way you'll be informed whenever I add a new video to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few moments with me today.